five of the show. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into topic number one here. The NFL players have started to opt out of the 2020 season. And there's a lot of them. The biggest, the biggest uh, uh, group that we are seeing an issue with, maybe not an issue, but either way, the New England Patriots have six players that have opted out. Now, obviously, you've got Cole Wick with the Saints. You've got Marquise Goodwin with the Philadelphia Eagles. Michael Fritz jumps in on Twitch. He said, what's up, Gary? What is up, Michael? How are you? Here's, yeah, we're a little early today, by the way. Had to get this thing knocked out. Got some uh, family duties I got to handle later. But either way, the Seattle Seahawks, Chance Warmack is opting out. Uh, the Tennessee Titans, Anthony McKinney, offensive lineman. Washington, Caleb Brantley, defensive lineman, et cetera, et cetera. We, we got a ton of guys, right? Just a ton of guys that are starting to opt out, and, and you can understand it. The majority of these, honestly, I think it's all of them, have either existing medical conditions or they have family members that have that. So, you know, it is what it is, but the only one that has had a massive number of players is the New England Patriots. So we're going to focus on that today. Obviously, Chris not here. He is our Patriot guy. Uh, Michael said, tank for Lawrence. Pats are still the smartest team in the league. That's the the question, right? So it's uh, Danny Vitale, Najee Torin, Marcus Cannon, Brandon Bolden, Dante Hightower, and safety Patrick Chung. So their defense took a pretty good hit. Uh, their offensive line took a pretty good hit. You know, those kind of things happen. But the question here is, is this a Belichick thing? Or is this just a lot of players that don't think that they're going to be any good this year? That's that's the question, right? So you've got Cam Newton that comes in, cheap contract. You're hopeful that he's going to overplay that. For me, I look at it the same way as a lot of these GMs. Is it possible that Belichick could be tanking this season? Maybe. Possibly. That seems like it is so far out of the realm of possibility for Bill Belichick. But if he really is the smartest guy in the room, who knows? Michael said it's a fun conspiracy theory, but it does sound like a few of them have legit reasons to sit out. All of them have legit reasons to sit out. All of them can come up with different things. I mean, anybody could come up with any kind of a reason. I can come up with, you know, my grandparents are in their 80s. You know, you don't want to take the risk. You've already made a lot of money. I'll sit this one out, right? You can say that. You can come up with anything. But in this situation, six different guys from the same team all coming out within a very short time period saying that they're going to come out and, and they're opting out of this season, it does seem a little fishy, a little weird. So that's, that's where I'm coming from on it. Um, there was a, a GM, an anonymous GM that told Adam Schefter that he believes that Bill masterminded this. And Schefter asked him, why would he do it? Like, what, what do you think the end game is? And the GM said, I have no idea. But that's what makes him him. That's what makes Bill Belichick different from everybody else. So whatever he is cooking up here, I am intrigued. And I think that's what makes a really good head coach, a really good GM, right? Is a guy that is so far ahead of the game that you don't exactly know what he's doing or what his reasoning for that might be. So we understand the tanking method, right? Un we understand how the draft goes, et cetera, except he's never really cared about high draft picks. So if he's tanking for Trevor Lawrence or whatever, it, he's never really cared about that. Tom Brady wasn't the top draft pick. I, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, Michael said, I don't trust the Pats one bit, though. I wouldn't put it past Bill. I wouldn't either. I'm, I'm very confused on what might be happening here. If the players really think that they are not going to compete for a Super Bowl this year and they want to sit out and be careful, okay. I, I guess I get it. But then why don't you have anybody from the Dolphins sitting out? Why don't you have anybody from the Jaguars sitting out yet? And obviously you will eventually, but we'll see what happens. Damien said, what's up? Nice to see you in here, Damien. Tommy Jarvis jumps in on Facebook, said, off subject, who you got, Roy Jones or Tyson? I, you know I'm going to take Tyson. Roy Jones was awful. 
awful his last however many times out. Um, now, that's not to say that Mike Tyson wasn't, but, I mean, I'm going to be pulling for Mike Tyson. He's uh, he's a more familiar face. Uh, I think he's more fun. You know? <laughs>